what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here's a story about a nine-year-old girl who was caught by her teacher stealing her teacher's food and told a very sickening story of child abuse. The girl said her father, Jesse Piat, and stepmother, Trish Piat, made her drink, get this y'all, toilet water and sleep outside or in the bathtub. She alleged that her parents didn't give her any blankets and that they always fed her dry ramen noodles that they served to her in the bathroom or on the floor. The nine-year-old from Memphis, Tennessee added that her parents refused to feed her if she got two meals from school. The teacher alerted police who opened an investigation into the alleged child abuse. When officers arrived to the school that day, they allegedly found the lean girl wearing oversized black tennis shoes and filthy clothing. The girl also had a shaved spot on her head that she says she received from Trish Piat in a bout of anger. Teachers told police they previously bought the little girl a pair of shoes that she could wear at school, but when she wore them home one day, they never saw them again. After his daughter tried to steal the food, Jesse Piat arrived at the school and called her an embarrassment. The man said he kept his daughter in the bathroom for his own safety because she had an undiagnosed medical condition and he feared she would kill him while he slept. Jesse Piat said he wanted to get his daughter into a medical facility. Police alleged that the father didn't try to talk to his daughter and continued to laugh and joke about the situation. The father added that the girl hadn't brushed her teeth in about a year because she didn't want to. Now dig this. An agent with the Department of Children's Services arrived at the school in January and recommended that the girl go home with her father. But a police officer told the agent, who told him that there were previous reports of abuse, that it was not safe for the girl to go home. So officials put her in a foster home, where she is now doing fine. They also had reports of abrasions on her body, there was whips and other types of abuse. She also had a broken arm that had not properly healed. But, man, if they hadn't got that girl out of that damn house, they were going to kill her. Big salute to the officer who stepped in and did the job. Child Protective Services, man, they need to change that damn name, man. They need to change that to Child Endangerment Services or something. Man. All of those people need to be fired. It's a bad situation all over the country, man. You hear the same story about these departments. Courtrooms are full of these type of cases. The burial grounds are full of children who they couldn't get out in time. And these places have had many, 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 many warnings. And so you understand, you get it why, why they're so slow to remove a child because it is expensive. Foster homes are expensive. But damn, man. Why does money always have to come before life in America? It's sad. Now, the father said that she had an undiagnosed medical condition. So if her medical condition was undiagnosed, how do they know that it couldn't be treated? Don't make a lot of sense, right? The father trying to think of a proper punishment for him. Cause, and, and I hesitate to call him a father because he just that some dude, you know, just some, some, some sperm donor. And how could you do your own? 
How could you do any child like that? Let alone your own. Your own. This is your creation. You. This is you procreated. This is your creation, man. How could you do your own child like that? I'm talking to the rest of y'all too out there. Some of y'all out there that's listening to this broadcast right now, you're abusing your child. Pump the brakes, man. Don't be a bully. Don't treat those kids like that. And I know some of y'all think y'all strong and you bossing kids around and you think it's something, you find strength in that. But that's, that's a coward gesture. Cowards bully children. Don't be a coward, man. Pick on somebody your own size. Next time you think about that, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, man, you know what? Man, I'm a fucking coward. Why would I push a little kid around like that? I feel like a coward. You don't get any points for bullying children. That's the easiest thing to do. Bully your own children. Takes a real coward. That's cold-blooded, man. I'm thinking, like, where was the mother? Where is the biological mother? And what kind of woman would treat a child like that? Lord knows she, don't, she shouldn't have the ability to procreate. Whatever they got to do to stop her from having a baby, they need to go in there and just rip all of her insides out. The schools and police departments around the United States get a bad rap oftentimes, which they earned. But this time, they got it right. They saved a life. So, big salute to the officer who called that. Good look, man. Big shout out to the teachers, too, who went to bat for the little girl and got her some shoes. And it was like, they, they understood what was going on. And they were like, you know, this little girl ain't got nothing, you know. At least when she come to school, she can put these shoes on and feel proud, you know? She don't have to drop her head. That's a bad thing, man, when kids don't have proper clothes to wear because other kids can be very, very mean. And they'll call you out. If you, you know, you, your dress code ain't up to par, man. Man, kids can be very, very evil. But even if kids wasn't evil, no kid wants to be around the in crowd or just be around other kids and other kids got fresh clothes on and their clothes are all shabby and stuff and nobody wants to roll like that so big shout out to those teachers man big shout out it's just sad man it's real sad when you think about it man like how many of our kids every single day who are being abused, who are being neglected, are being unloved. We gotta do better. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?